hello hello and welcome back maybe to the travel bug feeling channel my name is joseph edward and this is a channel for enjoying uh, good english learn some words for you to practice your english to learn some vocabulary and to enjoy some English speaking trips, yes, around Brazil and maybe in the future around the world. So, today I am exactly now leaving Itaqueri da Serra, Itaqueri of the Hill. And this road links São Pedro to Itirapina. So, I'm still in uh, Sao Paulo State. Yes, I'm going to be on Sao Paulo State forever today in this trip. And I'm heading to Bueno de Andrada, where is my first stop. It's near Araraquara. And if you don't know this region of the, of the country, uh, yeah, just take a look. It's beautiful. This road here is full of curves. Nice for motorcycles. And, and it's beautiful, with, full of nature also. It's a nice place for you to come and enjoy. Look at the view. Yeah. So, today I'm going to stop in Taquaritinga. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do a trip to see my roots. <laughs> I'm going to my hometown, where I was born, called Catanduva to visit some friends and but before I'm going to stop where my um, Italian grandfather lived and where my father was born called Taquaritinga I'm just going there to register this look how beautiful yeah I'm going to register this um, there is a road, there is a street called Sebastiano, Sebastian Guercio, which is my grandfather. But I think I've never have I've never taken a picture there. I've never I've been there but I think it's been like maybe 20 more than 20 years ago. I don't even know if there is a uh, the, the the road sign, uh, I mean the street name written there. I think it's I think yeah, I was checking on Google Maps and I couldn't see it. But I know there is this street there. And I wanted to just, you know, register it for uh, my uh, Pop Springs. <laughs> Here's a beautiful, very, very beautiful and nice road. Again, from São Pedro to Ichirapina. So I'm going to get to Ichirapina now and then head to São Carlos and then from São Carlos to Araraquara where I'm gonna have my first stop to drink some water and to stand up a little bit okay so stay tuned and check some of the views here Okay, so here I am in San Carlos. I'm going to get another highway called uh, Washington Luis. And from San Carlos to Araraquara. That's where I'm going now. Yeah, I have to get Washington Luis here. There you go. I think so. A little confusing. Well, we can do it. Let's go. Yeah, perfect. I don't remember if I if I have to pay a toll from São Carlos to Araraquara. I 
don't remember really because okay to get to Taquarichinga I have to go to Buenos Andrade and then from Buenos Andrade to Matão and then from Matão to Taquarichinga but I have to take this small part of uh, Washington Luis and I don't know if I have to pay a toll hopefully not yeah trouble is that this road is very very busy full of trucks and cars so yeah I don't like this busy roads it's boring it's not, it's not a problem it's very safe but it's very boring I'm gonna get this road and then I'm going to turn off the camera and I'll see you soon just so you know how the this road is full of trucks and cars and very easy look at this okay, well, it's, it's good because this part of the road <clears throat> I think the speed limit is just 90 so it's good Statue of Liberty. We are in New York. No, it's just a ridiculous Statue of Liberty from a shop here, in Brazil. Sorry, that's my opinion. It's ridiculous. I don't, I don't see the point of having the Statue of Liberty and the shop together. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Anyway. See you soon. Okay, so welcome to Araraquara. Very close to Buenos Andrade. I'm going to stop for uh, filling up the tank and continue until Buenos Andrade. But I'm not going to stop with thinking Buenos Andrade if I find a nice place here for me too go to the toilet and you know I'm just following the GPS here this is the bus station well I've been here many times in my life it's smelling like if you could uh, <laughs> if you could feel it it smells like uh, like orange juice here Funny, yeah, they do have like a big production of of orange and orange juice, but smelling like it's very funny. Okay, so let me see where I'm gonna stop. I'm not in a hurry to stop, so I'll try to get the best the best place. This part here is very strange in this city. Look. Woo. Uh, I think it's the bus station up there, the coach, the bus terminal, like the city's terminal. Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting closer to Bueno de Andrada, where they have the best coxinha of the world. Yeah, well, they have a, a place, a bar here called, I mean, called uh, Coxinhas Douradas. And they claim to be the, the best coxinha of Brazil. And coxinha is this here, as you can see. And it's a typical Brazilian uh, pastry, fried uh, chicken stuff. Yeah, if you come to Brazil one day, you're gonna see what it is like. So this uh, this is a district of Araraquara, and it's not actually a city, but it's a destination for 
Coxinha Eaters and after that I'm going to Matão and then from Matão to Taquaritinga where I'm gonna take a picture with or at my uh, grandfather's road I just stopped to have uh, to have espresso and drink some water oh people are riding bikes here that's really cool so here we have the train track the train just uh, passed actually so here in Brazil we don't have trains for passengers anymore we used to have it when I was a kid I used to go from Catanduva to Taquaritinga by train with my father but uh, the government decided to invest on roads as in every other country almost every other country in the world and then now we don't have trains for passengers anymore just trains for uh, cargo trains yes that's it that's what we have only that it's a pity so we're based on gas gasoline and diesel and of course I don't know if you know but here in Brazil we have ethanol for the cars and maybe in the future even for motorcycles and probably in the future we have electric cars and electric motorcycles too we have it already but it's too expensive nobody gets it nobody buys it I know there is a toll here <laughs> they put a toll it's called the Coxinha toll I have to pay the toll I think motorcycles also pay I'm not so sure actually I've never passed through I, I came here once there's a video that I came here I rode uh, 200 kilometers for a coxinha with a Vespa yeah with my Vespicha and then uh, I came here but I never trash pass the uh, the tow so I don't remember if I have to pay for the tow so here we are in Buena de Andrada yeah this is the train track it used to be yeah abandoned now people don't take trains anymore they just take cars or motorcycles what a pity again and here is the Coxinhas Douradas look they, they started as a very very small place and now they have this big place here and everybody comes for a Coxinha yeah so here I send a motos livre I don't have to pay I don't have to pay where should I go? Motorcycles. Here. Motorcycles. I don't have to pay. So let's go. Thank you very much. That's it. Buena de Andrada. Now, Matão next uh, destination okay so welcome to Matão I'm trying to I'm trying to get to Mat uh, Dobrada Dobrada is a very very small city and then Santa Inesina and then Taquaritinga but this is Matão roughly translated that's as big grass yeah, something like bush or something like that okay I am in the Dobrada it's the name of this city it's a small very small city uh, but actually I thought it was smaller you know it's uh, yeah, it's not bad it's quite good actually yeah really cool Dobrada that's the name very close to Taquaritinga already that's it this is the city Welcome to Santa Ernestina Also a very small city near Taquaritinga Very very small, I used to have some uh, relatives here I think Santa Ernestina Heading to Taquaritinga now I can, I can hear the train Oh yeah, that, that's the train Oh, okay, up in front, yeah Again, cargo train we have 
just cargo train. As I said, because of the motorcycle, <laughs> I get to know some cities that I would never think of coming. Yeah, because I like to go on the back roads, or actually, more like, yeah, paved back roads, I would say. And it's really cool. And then there's also always my question. Have you ever been to Santa Ernestina? I have. Oh, okay, the train track is here, the train is not here. <laughs> and then we go. Okay, so here I am in Taquaritinga. Now I'm going to uh, to go there to see the the, the, the street with the, my grandfather's name and pay him the owner of seeing that because I don't remember the last time I saw it. I think I was really really little and yeah, and since then. I don't think I even have like any kind of register there or something. Yeah. I'm, gonna check. I'm gonna check it. Let's see. Let's see. I hope it's written on a on a sign. Hope so. Why do you have to go so fast? Okay, here. Welcome to Taquaritinga. Yeah. A lot of history with this city. It's been a long time. I wanted to do it. I know this is the entrance of the city. It's in this neighborhood here. I actually have to enter here. Okay. Yeah, I think I remember something. Okay, so it's this one. This one here. Okay. There's no name here. Here, this one is called Sebastião Guercio. Yes. Nice, but there's no name. Yeah. Ah, uh, what a pity. What a pity. There's no name here. Yeah, that's it. This is the this is my grandfather's street name. I'll take a picture, but unfortunately there is no name on the street here. Yeah. Oh, but it's nice. It's nice to be here. Nice to know that there is a... Here, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Just like this. Other than that, no way. Okay, I'm just leaving this small city called Candido Rodriguez. Also, I've never been here. Always passed close to, but never been here. I'm going around cloud of rain. And I don't think I'm gonna get it now. I'm going to go around it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going towards Fernando Prestes now. And then Santa Delia. And then Catanduva. Okay, so welcome to Fernando Prestes. And now 
I am going toward Santa Delia. Fernando Prestes is also very very small. But I just have around 17 kilometers to Santa Delia. It's really close. Yeah. And then I think more like yeah around 20 kilometers to Cotendu. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. The rain is coming, I think. Hopefully not. I think we're gonna we're gonna do it. So oh there's a little church here. Okay, welcome to Santa Delia. Whoa. My god, I just got uh I forgot to to record it, but I just got a dirt road but it was full of uh, sand so it was a more like a sand road than a dirt road and the motorcycle almost fell on the floor but I could yeah I could maneuver it it was okay but anyway I do have now 30 kilometers to go and I'm going to take the big road now so I can go faster to Katanduva. There you go. Okay, let's go to Katanduva now. Okay, welcome to Katanduva. Okay, that's my hometown. Hometown is the name. So what happened is, I was born here. And then uh, I lived here for 12 years, 13 years. When I was 13 years old, I moved to Piracicaba. So it's hard to say that this is my hometown because I think, I think, no, I lived more time in Piracicaba than here. So I can't say that here is my hometown anymore, but still have some bonds, yeah. And uh, it's also, uh, yeah, some friends. And uh, I came here a lot right after I, I moved. My bonds here are my friends, the friends that I had when I was little. So today I'm going to visit two of them. One is also my student, Rafael. And then now also Marcel, who I'm going to visit today. Just so, yeah, just so we can talk and when I was living here, the city is it's much different from now, of course, because now it has grown and uh, yeah, the city has a lot, of, uh, a lot of other things, but I remember these bridges, they have always been like this. Nice, right? Here, yeah, this bridge. And now, where do I have to go? Oh, it's here. Oh, it was here. Okay, so now I can't go anymore. See if I can do it here. I'm gonna pass in front of my house. Well, in front of my uh, the house I was born. Yeah, it's very different here. Yeah, this one. I was born in this in this street here, Parapuan Street. Yeah, my house was this one, but it's totally different now. Seventy. Yeah. Well, not not inside. It's probably like the same, but yeah. Oh, man, I used to play so much in these streets here when I was a kid. So I'm going to Rafael's house now and here it is <laughs> everything's so different that I don't know exactly which house it is Aí, agora sim. Pronto. Você me diverte, velho? 
Ah, você acha? Não Mas dá. Você falou que ia é muito mesmo. Não dá. Não dá pra mim.